Welcome back. Today we're doing the top 10 worst totally accurate battle simulator units. Let's get started. To start this video at number 10, we are going to have the Dynasty Factions Dragon Unit. The list has been made using the following criteria. We're going to be taking a look at the cost of the unit relative to how much damage they do, how much health they have, and how effective they are in groups and in 1v1. So coming in number 10, we have the Dragon Unit from the Dynasty Faction. At 1,000 score, your points could just be so much better spent in other places. We just looked at the Cannon and the uh, Wheelbarrow Guy, who both cost 1,000 score. Coming in at number 9... Coming in at number 9 on our list is going to be the Bard. Despite being super cheap, the Bard is wildly ineffective against any team that has even a single range unit on it. The Bard thrives when it can kite a melee unit, but if there's even a single range unit, it's just going to one-shot the Bard and it's going to be game over. Number 8. When it comes to cheap filler melee units, the Caveman seems to be the absolute worst. Up against any other faction's cheapest melee unit, the Caveman can just never get a break. He gets one shot and he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and he's just pretty much useless. Even when you double the amount of Cavemen to equal the same score as another unit's cheapest melee unit, um, he still can't hold his own weight. Up next is number 7. Coming in at number 7 on our list is going to be the Medieval Factions Healer Unit. If you're going to use all that extra score to make a healer, who's not really going to make a whole lot of difference on the battlefield, you're better off just using the score to upgrade and buy a better melee unit who maybe has more health and won't even require the healing. Here we're going to watch a couple different melee units just absolutely obliterate uh, the Squire despite having a healer behind him. This knight feels so bad for the Squire, he's bringing him in nice and close for a great big hug to console him. Number six. Number six is actually really interesting. We're gonna be taking a look at siege vehicles. Every one of these siege vehicles are actually very efficient and can be an absolute backbone of any team. But siege vehicles tend to be very costly. So when it comes to picking which siege vehicle you wanna have on your team, it's definitely not going to be the pumpkin catapult. Here we see every single siege vehicle except the pumpkin catapult make quick work and practically one shot the knight. The pumpkin catapult, despite being a thousand score, is the only one that could not one shot the knight. The lack of damage despite a high score is going to place the pumpkin catapult at number six. Five. Number 5 was pretty tough for me because I absolutely love the Skeleton Warrior, although it is super fun to watch the headbutter just dive through him like a football player and explode him into a million pieces. Just like the Clubber Caveman from the Tribal Faction that we looked at a little bit ago, the Skeleton Warrior is just too weak to justify his score, and your points could be spent better elsewhere. We're going to watch practically every other melee unit just absolutely run through the Skeleton Warrior, and he barely puts up a fight. Number four is coming up next. Number four on our list is the Tribal Factions Shield Unit. Despite having a very low score, he ranks only number four on our list. The reason why he is ranking so high on the worst units in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is due to his high cost comparatively to other factions that also have shield units with low costs. The Tribal Shield Unit is directly comparable to the Ancient Era Shield Wall guy, and uh, the Shield Wall guy barely costs any more money than him, but is uh, much better. That takes us to number three on our list, the Balloon Archer. The Balloon Archer, despite costing a lot of money, can barely lift even a medium price unit off the ground. Anyone bigger than like uh, Sarissa is not gonna get lifted, not even a Halberd, which seems like a pretty small unit. Comparatively to other ranged units, the Balloon Archer will never be another ranged unit in a 1v1. Even now with the new Spooky Faction, you can easily counter the Balloon uh, Shooter with a vampire number two number two on our list is going to be the renaissance faction painter the renaissance faction painter cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other melee unit in the game uh the only benefit that the painter has is being able to dodge one arrow from a ranged unit 
Congratulations and thank you. You made it all the way to number one on our list, which is the Halfling. The Halfling cannot beat anyone in this game. There's only one unit in the entire game the Halfling can stand up against in a 1v1. We will get there in a second, but the Halfling is very cheap, only 50 score each. But unless they are in massive numbers, they cannot take out a single unit. The only one it can beat in a 1v1 is the Sarissa because he cannot reach the Halfling with his stick. And the Halfling just kind of hangs on to him until he falls over and dies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other top 10s you want to see. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.